These particular silks are, are part of a, a long journey that um, began with the work of Loie Fuller at the turn of the century, and she danced in a garment that was similar to this. And um, many dancers throughout the centuries have worked in garments and sort of second skins, extensions, extensions of the body. This, uh, the one that Margie's wearing, is a little bit like a parachute. In fact, it has no bodice, it has no fixed point, it has, you know, it, it, you slip it over the head, and I don't know how she moves in it, actually. I love she it. She manages to keep it, keep it <laughs> flying. I drown in this one. Um, and I've been used to doing dancing. And these ones, which have, this has a, a bodice that's attached, sort of connected to where the diaphragm would be, and works with riding props, or fly fishing lines, or willows, or whatever you can get your hands on. They, they very much show the, this incredible, delicate fabric. This is, you know, it's, it's <laughs> the silkworm. It's, it's just so delicate, so thin, and yet it's huge. It weighs a ton. It catches the air. It moves. It, it, it strangles. It releases. The fabric, especially a pure organic fabric like silk, is that when you add the element of color, color has weight. And people don't think about that. I mean, if you look around this room, you know, it's pretty clear that certain colors feel heavier, but in fact, they're literally heavier. So you know, we were quite surprised that the weight of the white one, and this one's different, and this is gray, but just that much, and certain colors weigh more than other colors. So it's a pretty fascinating research into visual art and chemistry and biology and, you know, astrology and the elements all around with large amounts of fabric for a long time and what I love about it is that you can choreograph it but the fabric really takes over. You're stepping on fabric. The fabric is like being in a very, very strong river. There's a certain amount you can do and there's a certain amount that you can only do if you give in or say windsurfing, something like that. Where you're really, a good one. Yeah, where you yeah, really have to go you, with you the force. Yeah, yeah. You have to go with the force. But so the fabric decides to wrap around something it, that's you, you, you have to be able to, to, to go with this kind of winding river-like wind or force. So it's much like a huge wind. I've been caught in a hundred mile an hour wind. It's a very similar thing. <laughs>